Hey kids, do you all listen to your parents and are responsible? Today we are reading a story from this book called A Treasury for Five Year Olds. And that story is Run, Run, Run by Alison Boyle. Run, run, run! Deep beneath the hot, hot sands of the desert, in a cool, cool place underground, lived a young meerkat called Kina. Her mother had two new kids, Kip and Kimbezi, and Kina went to say hello to them. Kina giggled to see her brother and sister with their eyes shut tight and their hairless bodies. They're so still, she said to her father. You were like them once, said her mother, as the babies lay snuffling her milk. You couldn't always run like you do now. Kina looked pleased with herself. I'm the fastest, she boasted. Be sure to use your skill well. A life may depend on it, her father replied. Kina sniffed with her nose in the air. Look at you now, continued her mother. You're almost fully grown. I would like you to be my babysitter when your father and I have to hunt. Could you do that? Course I could, Kina boasted. But her heart was pounding. What an honor, she thought, being trusted to look after the kittens. You wouldn't be on your own, warned her father. The meerkat guards will be watching over you. Pooh, who needs them? muttered Kina under her breath. The day came when it was the turn of Kina's father and mother to go off hunting. Kina was babysitter for the day. Her parents had told her not to take the kittens outside, but the instant they were gone, Kina knew what she would do. Look at you, jested Kina. You're both so pale, you need some sunshine. And she shooed the little meerkats up the steep curves of the long tunnels. Run and see, she shivied when they reached the hole at the top. And Kip and Kimbezi scrambled out onto the desert sand. Hot, mumbled Kip as she tripped and fell face down in the scratchy sand. Kina quickly clawed up a ball of grains and dashed them across at Kimbezi and Kip. Oof, Kimbezi moaned his mouth full of sand, all crunchy between his teeth. Kina chased her brother and sister, calling out, Get up! Run! Run! They chased across the desert and without realizing it, away from the safety of the meerkat tunnels. Kina heard the guards calling from their termite hill, now far in the distance, but she wasn't trying hard enough to hear what they said. Kina looked up. A powerful eagle soared above, then suddenly swooped down for a better look. It was hungry and a meerkat kitten would make a tasty meal. The meerkat guards raced down the termite hill, stirring and swirling the sand with their claws. For a moment, the eagle couldn't see the kits. Kina raced into action and threw sand balls at the eagle over and over again until one hit it right between the eyes. Run! Kina the babysitter ordered as Kip and Kimbezi tripped in the slipping sand. Get up! Quick! Run! She screeched. Kina looked up again and saw that the eagle had its eye on Kimbezi who had started to run in the opposite direction. Kina knew what she had to do. She pushed off from her back legs and pounded across the sand, grabbing Kambezi by the scruff of the neck and running faster than she had ever run. Hot sand stung her ears and eyes, but Kina ran for her life and the lives of her brother and sister. In, ordered the meerkat guards, as they pushed Kip, Kambezi and Kina all at once down the entrance hole. Then the guards jumped in behind for safety. The guards would have told Kina off for her dangerous behavior, but the little meerkats were too busy roly poling their way down the tunnels in the direction of home. When they arrived, no one was there. 
I want my mummy, wailed Kip, starting to cry. I want my daddy, wailed Kambezi. Kina felt like crying too. She was the only one who realized that their parents would also be in great danger if the eagle was still close by. But she was Kina, the babysitter. She knew she had to be brave. So first, she played a spotting game with the kittens and then a hide-and-seek game, and then their favorite, a chasing game. And the kids soon forgot about being scared. Hello everyone, came two warm and familiar voices along the tunnel. Hooray, the kids called as their mother and father scampered down to greet them. Why are you out of breath? Mother asked, knowing from the guards that Kina had been out with the kids. And why are you covered in sand? Father asked. Kina, we've been running, said Kip, in the place above, explained Kambezi. Kina was quiet. Kina's mother and father shuddered to think of their kittens in such danger. Moments earlier, they themselves had been running like the wind to escape from the magnificent eagle. But for now, Kina helped her mother and father, Lal Kip and Kambezi, to sleep. Together, they sang the song of the wind that swept over the hot, hot sands of the desert and of a young, fearless meerkat who ran alongside. So what did we learn? We should always listen to our parents. They make rules for us only for us to be safe and happy nothing else so we better listen to them if you like this video do hit the like and subscribe button bye